I'm gonna bring you over some of the blue quick clams. Uh, like I said, but uh, you don't want to just do this on a on a, uh, a well, ceramic top. Yeah, you don't want to be on an uneven surface. Make yeah. sure that. Uh, Whenever you're putting a filler strip on an upper cabinet, that the bottom of the filler strip is exactly the same as the bottom of the cabinet. Oh, the top the doesn't matter because the crown mold's going to cover it if it's a little bit taller yeah, or a little bit less, right an eighth here. of an inch taller, an eighth, an eighth, right. eighth yeah. of an inch less. Well, You'll never see it because the crown's going to cover it. But on the oh, bottom, okay. um, you're going to see that the filler strip's either longer or shorter. So make sure that they're exactly even on the bottom. Yeah, right? Clear. And now we're going to use, uh, these are 42 inch tall cabinets or 39 inch tall cabinets. We're going to use three clamps, one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. Yeah, and uh, we're, gonna, right, we're going to move this, uh, this one here up, the one that really grips her good as we're going on up the line. Uh, getting that perfectly even where we want it, where you can't feel it. Cranking her down. We're good to go there. I like that. Remember guys, you want this plane between your filler and your cabinet or between your cabinet and your cabinet. You don't want to feel anything here. It should become one piece of wood when they're clamped together. Alright, at each clamp. One, one piece of wood, nice and smooth. No gap between the two. I mean, you barely see uh, human hair is thinner than that. Alright, not much. But uh, tight together and you don't want to be able to feel any ridge when you got it clamped. Then you know you're in position to go ahead and pilot out your whole countersink the head of your screw and screw them together. Now we're not using glue between these, we're just using screws. You don't glue your cabinets together, you just screw them together. So pilot out your hole using a power drill. Bit of soap on that screw. It, I'll tell you, I don't know how it does it, but it does it. <laughs> All right. There's our bottom screw in. So we're using the red clamp with the crank handle, all right, the threaded handle, because they're a little bit stronger pressure than the yeah. uh, than the quick grips. Yeah. All right. Uh. So wherever we're putting the screw, um, we're moving the red clamp to that location. Taller cabinets, we want three screws, one at the bottom, one at the top, and one in the middle. Now these three screws, the top and bottom screw are an inch higher, an inch lower than the original hole uh, for the screw from the uh, hinge for the door, like I told you. Uh, the only difference is, uh, from what I told you before, is we're adding one screw in the middle between the other two screws. So uh, the 39 inches is just a little too far to go for two screws. Okay. Yeah, just take that out all together. Using our two inch fine thread screws, right? regular drywall screw heads on these, and a number two Phillips head tip, run your screw with the soap on it between your cabinet and your filler. And that's it. Now we can take those clamps off and um, we're ready to find some. Uh, Screw hole locations. And so we have our studs marked on this wall from the original, from the original uh, when we did our kitchen. Uh, we could actually see where the screws are. Yeah, when we hung our drywall, we already had drawn uh, lines on the board so we knew where to screw our drywall. So uh, we're going to use those lines, which are already on there, and get those measurements, transfer those yeah. measurements to the back of our cabinet. I have an extra liner. I'm going to see if I have an extra screw here. 
Now Start you can see on a, on a tar cabinet, we've got a bottom, a mid, and an upper mounting piece of wood, okay? So we can actually put a screw in the middle on these as well. Okay. My first, uh, my first major hole is seven inches. Seven inches. And uh, right here, I got, a, I got a fill strip on here. So my first one is seven inches. I'm just gonna mark this here to transfer this measurement. Now I'm coming right off my, my cabinet and I'll transfer that mark at 18 inches in. Uh, Cause that sticks out that much. It's saying 18 and a quarter off my cabinet will put me seven inches off my filler strip, which is where my cabinet's gonna hit. Did that make sense? No. Uh, no all right. No. What I did is I measured up here. My, my stud is exactly seven inches. Okay. My cabinet filler strip is going to be right here. And that's up against so the So that's cabinet. where I'm going. I'm going seven inches because this cabinet's actually going to be into here. Okay. So I'll measure it in. Seven inches off my filler. I'm just marking my two by four. This is a quick way of doing it. Right. This cabinet sticks out here a strong eighth. So I'm just holding my tape in a strong eighth and I'm measuring back this way. And that says, that says 18 and a quarter inches. Okay. So now I'm just going to come back over here on these right here. Now if you come back here again, Ed, remember on your upper one you want to drill low. On this one here you want to drill low. So it's The middle one doesn't matter. We'll go right in the middle. 18 and a quarter. And the bottom one you want to drill high. And the reason for the high and low on the upper and lower mounting brackets is so our yep, so, uh, our, our hole actually is inside our cabinet. Yeah, and, and yet we're still in wood. Right. I usually drill about a half inch in. Okay. Now I can measure over. I, that's where that exact stud is. Now I can measure from stud to stud on my cabinet. It should be 16 inches. And it's a uh, perfect 16, although my, my screw's over here just a tad. Uh, like I said, it, all this is getting covered. It's if you wanted to check it, find the exact center. There I'm off the stud. There I'm off the stud. So my exact center would be there on the line. Okay, so and the line says 16 inches. Perfect exactly. 16 inches. I can come off of that mark right there. A perfect 16 inches now. And that's where I'll put my second set of marks. Okay. Real easy, right people? It is easy. It's just a little bit of common sense. Yep. And it's watching this video about three times until you actually start drilling holes in your cabinets. Okay. Alright. Then like I said, these right here I'm going to probably drill in the center, which is an inch and a half. And an inch and a half. Right. So we're going to have a total of six holes in this cabinet, pre-drilled. So when we stick that cabinet up there, we're ready to go ahead and zip the screws right through into the center of the studs. And we know we're going to hit two by fours because we've already pre-tested our holes. And I drill these from the back of the cabinet. And you'll see right where I come through, I'm drilling. And there he is, right there. Right through the, right through the cabinet. But still room for the head of my screw when I'm hitting You're good. Yeah. Now in the middle somewhere. I'm breathing these a little. There he is. You should be perfectly in there. This is where you get more of an Okay. And then these I'm drilling a little bit to the high side of my bottom piece of wood. Mm, let me come through. Gotta keep me off the. Coming through down there somewhere. There he is, right at the very bottom. Alright, and then one more over on this side. There he is. Alright, so there's our six holes through the mounting boards. And now we're ready to put this sucker up there. I'm going to give me some screws. One, two, three, four. There, over to the camera. Yep, right there. That's not, that's not bad. I'm gonna hang her. We're just hanging right now. Yeah, we're just getting our screws in. We can adjust the cabinet a little bit here. Yep. Uh, John, I'm gonna get you to come down at 16th. Right there. I'll set it down in this guy. We'll be right there. You're pushed over tight. Yep, I like it. See, I'm perfectly even up top. 
I'm tight, and like I said, I'm just hanging these yeah, right here. Flushing out the top of the cabinet with the other cabinet up there. See? Yep. Filler strip that we put on is flush with the other cabinet. And we're just putting the six screws in and tacking it up there until we get it in the final position where we want it. Going anywhere. Although that one really sucked her in. Uh, we'll probably have to yeah, put a shim behind that out. it. We'll put a shim behind here because we'll never see that yeah. and that'll keep it racked tight. Yeah, I can even tighten this one up a little more. Okay. All right. Okay, okay now what we're going to do is we're going to come back and pin this. I'm going to pin this into here through this cabinet. Alright, so like I said, you know, my, I'm going to pin into my filler strip. I need them mini drywall screws or regular, you know, uh, there was some in a tool belt around here. Alright, and to do that, to do that, it's a little scary measurement. Everything's a little scary when you're drilling in the kitchen cabinet. Uh, right here, see this piece of wood right here on this edge? That's my wood. That's the same wood on the inside of this cabinet. So I'm going to measure from the inside of that wood and I'm going to find the dead center of this cabinet. And it's saying 11 and 3 quarter okay. inches. Puts me to the center of this, maybe even, a matter of fact, I'm even going a, I'm even going just a tad, tad past center, because there's no way I want my screw to come out through this filler strip. Right. So that's saying 11 and 3 quarters is even a tad past center. I'm going to come inside my cabinet here. I can put one low right here. I can hit it anywhere, but I'm coming in here like this. And I'm marking it 11 and 3 quarter. Okay, and that's... When I screw that into there, that's going to pin this cabinet to it. All right, so you got to be on on that. you got to be on on this mark right here. This, yeah. That mark's got to be right, because when he drills through there, he's going to drill through this cabinet. When that drill bit comes around the corner, it's going to come through. It's going to go into this cabinet out here, and it's going to hit dead center in this 3 quarter inch board here. So he has to really be on. He has to do two things. Make sure his measurements right. Yeah. When the other thing I did, I measured off that wood there, and you see where eleven and three quarters falling out, a little past center even. Okay. Because if I come through, I don't mind splitting the back of this out. I don't want to split the front out. Right. And then I'm double checking inside here. Eleven and three quarter. Coming around and checks. Yep. Yeah, eleven and three quarter. I double check. Now the other thing you want to do is when you drill, make sure you're pushing straight, straight in or back a tad. Straight in you or don't back. don't want to poke out the front of the cabinet. There he goes. Yeah, how are we looking on the other side? Over here, here and see if he's sticking out anywhere. I should be out now. I'm into my wood. If anything, I want to push this cabinet to me a little bit. There we are. I only need a, I only need a small hole because I'm only putting a small screw in there. Okay, what size screw are you using for this type of uh, I got an inch and a quarter drywall screw because I'm only going through half inch plywood, uh, which is going to be more than enough. Okay. And like I said, I'm just going to pin this thing once, twice, three times. This is in a microwave cabinet. I don't even have to countersink the screw, but I wouldn't mind getting Johnny to press on that side towards me. Push on that cabinet right there, John, towards, the towards Tom. me. So that when I do pin these, I'm um, pinned tight. Done. All right, boy, that, that got her back nice and tight yeah. here. That's a nice, nice tight yeah. seal there. And now I'm going to do the same thing, middle and high. And uh, You can actually push on, on the outside yeah. there, John. But I need, uh, I need the ladder. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to roll with the same 11 and 3 quarter measurement. And like I said, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to actually drill Oh, on an slightly angle, on an angle slightly towards, back. towards the back wall. Looking about the center of my cabin is here. So I'm going to measure over right about there. 11 and 3 quarter. And I'm going to get one at the top also. Uh, I'll go up here. Then 11 and 3 quarter. Alright, so two more holes into the abyss. Yep. <laughs> and these are always, like I said, scary, but uh, 
If you measure yeah, right, you measure right, you're going to be angle, you're going to be fine. Angle just uh, just the way that you want it to be. Uh, not this way, you know. If anything, angle just angle back towards the back wall a little just bit, a, just a little. And I'm going to hit my upper one while I'm here too. And he's going right through, and he's coming out over here into the, into the other cap. And you only have three quarters of an inch to hit, so, so make sure you hit. Now you're going to need to pull this in tight. Yeah, he's going to pull. These these uh, little yeah, mini gripper little drywall are going to. They're going to tighten it up. Watch I'm going to keep the camera on that Watch crack. Watch that crack tighten up. Johnny, you're pushing and I'm sinking. Yep, I closed her up. And then the center one, we're going to do right now too. Yep. Uh, that tightened her up nice. And ta-da, that's done. We're still hanging here. We're not set hard yet. We're pinned to this cabinet and we're still hanging. We're going to go ahead and set this next cabinet in case this got to come in or out. Once we get both of these cabinets set, plumb, level, then you go back and set your screws hard. 